Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Paladao Lavalier lapel mic. The microphone comes inside a semi-rigid clamshell carrying case, and includes a brief instruction manual. Inside the case, you'll find the lavalier mic, a 7-foot extension cord with cord tie, a 6-inch TRRS to TRS adapter, and two foam windscreens. The microphone itself has a 5-foot cord length with a rubber cord tie. The windscreens for the microphone are medium in size and about the size of a thimble. Just under the mic is a metal alligator clip for attaching the mic to your shirt lapel. The unit has a standard TRRS headphone jack plug and should be plug and play with most mobile devices with a headphone jack like cell phones and tablets. If you want to use the mic with your PC, laptop, or camera though, you'll likely need to use the adapter, which has one less ring on it. In addition, iPhone users that don't have a headphone jack need to use the lightning port adapter that came with the phone. Let's do a quick audio comparison test. First I'll record on my cell phone using its built-in microphone. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now let's try with the lapel mic plugged in. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now you're listening to the onboard microphone of my Sony Alpha 6300 mirrorless camera. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now let's use the lapel mic. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is what the microphone sounds like when it's clipped to my shirt lapel. Now if I clip the mic lower on my shirt at about chest level, this is how it sounds. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Here's what the microphone sounds like when I'm holding the mic about one foot away from my face. And this is what the mic sounds like when I'm holding it about two feet away from my face. So as you can hear, the Palado lapel mic helps cut down on ambient background noise when worn on the body, and sounds better when worn in front than on your collar. However, if you hold the mic some distance away from you, the white noise and graininess increases. When using the mic, my voice becomes the focus of the audio recording and is picked up louder and more clearly than the built-in microphone on my phone. But you may pick up fabric noise if you're moving around a lot or adjusting the microphone on your body. Overall, the sound picked up on the microphone is pretty good, and it can be an improvement over the onboard microphone on some devices especially in a noisy environment. It can also be a good option if you do mobile vlogs or interviews. The long length of the extension cord plus the adapter makes this microphone compatible with just about any device with a microphone input port. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.